Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and in the last Saturday live, you guys asked me that I should create a video about the health and health tips for programmers. So here we go, this video is gonna talk about the health issues about the programmers, how you can take them down and moreover this video is about how I am taking care of my health and by no means I am either a clean ex or I am also not god of the ninja to give you tips about the exercising and all those amazing stuff. It's just that I am trying to share what I do to take care of my health. So let's get started. We all know that if you are an IT person, regardless of you are working on AWS or designer or maybe Ruby or Java or Python or any programming language, we are programmers, we spend a lot of time in front of computers. That means there are some problems which we all know are gonna come. It's not the time that is it going to come or not, it's just the time when those problems are gonna come. You might have heard uh, talking about uh, these problems by every famous programmer or YouTuber that says, hey, I'm a programmer and I suffer this, this, this problem. So what I do is, if you know something that the problem is about to arise, let's just do something for that. So in this video, this video is divided into multiple parts where I'm gonna share about why the health is also important, what do I to take care of my eyes, my back, and a whole bunch of other things including my diet, my mobile phone habit, and some of the tips that are gonna be absolutely 100% helpful for you. So one of the most important question is, why should I be worried about my health? The simple answer is, if you don't take care of your health, you just die. And I don't want to die, I am pretty sure you don't want to. That is very extreme, but let's move it to a little bit non-extreme, that is worst, even then the worst case scenario. Because let's just say, if you are unhealthy, that means you are having some of the troubles, then uh, that is also really bad because you will not be able to give 100% in whatever you are doing. Maybe your goal is to work for an amazing company but due to health issues you are not able to travel for another city or maybe if you want to build your dream project or dream company, if you are not 100% healthy, you will not be able to give your 100% and that is absolutely bad. So staying healthy is not a question at all. Everybody should work on it and I highly recommend everybody just to take care a little bit about your health. You don't need to go into the extreme, you just need to take care of that a little bit like two or three times a week which is going to be more than enough. So make sure that you take care of your health. Now the question is that how do I take care of my health? Now I'm kind of a gym person and it's not compulsory for everybody to hit the gym uh, because but personally I believe that working out onto an intense session is very necessary. I see a lot of people uh, who says I go to park for a walk, they just see the trees, they just see the birds. And I don't think that that's gonna do any health benefit for that. Surely it's good for lungs, but it's not as beneficial for your health. If you are hitting the park, make sure you are running, you are doing extreme workouts so that you are all sweaty and all wet. That is the goal. Just push your body to certain limits so that it, fe it feels a little bit of the pain and a little bit of the uncomfortness. I found that my area is hitting the gym. I hit the gym like two and a half hour almost the least amount of time is three times a week, but I try to make it like five times a week and usually I'm on to the extreme side, like five times a week. I do my cardio for 30 to 45 minutes daily and then almost an hour or sometimes hour and a half for the weight trainings. I don't go for extreme in the weight trainings. I'm, I'm no big muscle kind of a guy. I like to do extreme sessions of the intensity so that I just feel exhausted and that's the goal of hitting the gym. Now when I'm in the gym, I make sure that I give my 100% at the gym only. I don't check out my phone, no matter how important the call is, I never pick that up. I don't even check my phone during my workout session. When I'm done with the workout session, then I click a photo and post that on the Instagram usually. Uh, but that's the goal. If you're hitting the gym, make sure you either don't hit that, or if you're going to the gym, make sure you give your absolute beast in that. Gym doesn't require anything else, just the beast mode. So if you're going for that, go for that. Now let's move on to the important part of that, that um, if you are a computer person, obviously you are sitting a lot in front of computers, so what do I take care about the different parts uh, that usually get affected by the programming, design or anything that you do in front of computers? First and foremost is eyes. I am not gonna say that I am absolutely 100% health wise in the area of eyes, but I try to make sure that I am giving absolutely best for that. Now one thing that I use is my glasses, if you watch my tutorials you might have seen them uh, wearing this, this is not like uh, vision glasses, these are bought from a nearby store, no there is no affiliate link uh, in the description section, you can just buy them from any store where you like. 
These are Blu-ray protection glasses from Crizal. Uh, not very expensive, but you certainly should uh, spend some money in that. They reflect a lot of blue eyes. Uh, I prefer them and they are pretty good, very comfortable. You can choose your frames and everything. Again, there are a variety of ranges that how much amount of blue light it should reflect. Based on your budget, you can choose that. I have chosen the best of the best that they can offer because I do take care of, uh, I like to take care of my eyes. Apart from that, I have also in the past visited to the doctors to prescribe me some of the drops that they give so that if you are feeling a little bit dryness in your eyes, you can put that and uh, it's, it's always a good idea to consult the doctor. I know in India the situation is a little bit bad because you can just get your uh, medicine just from any store without even prescription. But my recommendation is uh, don't cut the budget there. Uh, meet a qualified doctor and then just uh, ask him that I work a lot on computer. Can you prescribe me any drops or something? He would happily do that for you. And these are the two things I do take care for my eyes. Another thing that you're going to hear people saying a lot that I am suffering from the back pain due to my extreme work on computers. And I also saw that uh, coming very, very fra far from in my early days of uh, computers. I knew it that it's going to come up. It's not a time of when it's going to come up. It's going to just come up. So uh, I knew it. So currently I'm not uh, facing any of the back issues because I'm extremely worried about it and I do take care of that. So what are the things that I do to take care of my back? The one thing that might be a little bit personal to me, but uh, previously I spent a little bit good amount of money in choosing the right chair, very comfortable. But eventually I realized that more comfortable chair is not actually the solution. The solution is less comfortable chair with the best posture. In the very comfortable, very cozy chairs, your posture actually goes really bad and you just kind of a crawl into the chair. I really don't like that because that's not good for my back. So I picked up a, a less expensive chair which is good in the posture and I all the time use it now. Apart from that, if we already know that we are going to spend a lot of time in front of computers, then surely we need to exercise. There is no alternative for that. You need to exercise. So sometimes when I hit the gym on to the lower end, like two days only or three days only, then I make sure that I work out for absolutely two parts of my body. Surely every part is important. But since I know that that, that back pain is going to come out, so I just first and foremost, I hit my back. And if I'm just coming on to the next only day, then it's going to be legs because uh, when you work on a computer, your legs get less motion. So back and legs are the most important thing, which I all always every single week work out. One of the key reasons which I have seen and I have found out that people complain about the back is because of the laptop on the bed. This is extremely bad. A lot of people just fool themselves that they are working on something important. If, you are, if that is something important, you might be on your table and chair, not on your bed. So don't fool yourself. Just openly say that this is entertainment and make sure you don't take your laptop on the bed. That is the number one reason why so many people are just messing up with their back. Now, I would like to add a little bit more. There are so many workouts that you can do at your home. Uh, there are so many amazing channels. If you're just going to search on YouTube that home back workout, then they will give you extreme amount of lessons. So you can just pick up five or six exercise of that. Now, sometimes I'm traveling or I'm outside of the station. So I just do those workouts uh, just somewhere around. I make sure absolutely 100% that back is a very important part. I don't want to be that kind of person who always says uh, I messed up my back due during early days of my programming. I don't want you to become one. So make sure you exercise every single week, at least for the back, whether it's a gym or your home workout, whatever that is, it should be done. Moving on to the next part, which is very important for your health, which is your mobile phone. I personally think that mobile should be now considered as a part of healthy life. I'm not saying that just leave out your mobile phone and just always don't look at it. Uh, that's not gonna happen. We are social being, we're gonna check out our Instagram. I am never a big fan of going into extreme of anything. Uh, so make sure uh, you take care of your mobile health uh, good as well. Uh, one of the things that I do recommend is uh, don't watch anything uh, while lying in the bed. If you are learning something, if you are spending time on YouTube or anything, make sure to do it. Nobody is stopping you and nobody can actually stop you. But make sure you just don't lie to yourself just saying that, hey, I'm learning. No, you are not learning. If, if it's just entertainment, go for it. But make sure you choose healthy habits for mobile phone. What are those? 
Now for me personally, I don't use that much of the mobile phone, but whenever I use it, it's always on the night mode. That's the number one thing. But if you guys want me to make a special video on the productivity apps and all the things that I use on my mobile phone, just let me know in the comment section. I'll make a separate video on the things that I use to increase my productivity on the mobile and so that I get less addictive on the mobile itself. So one other thing is the night mode. Apart from that, the night mode also, I also make sure that I turn like almost all the notification off from my mobile phone. All the time my mobile phone is almost on silent mode because I record a lot of videos I don't want to get disturbed in between and that's one of the reason that I always keep it like all silent no ringtones ever I also watch like a regular person Netflix I also watch YouTube as well like a regular person if I'm not subscribed to those regular people on YouTube I will never get to find out what's happening in the world especially I will not be able to improve my audios my videos Nobody just learned by birth everything. You have seen that this channel has grown quite a lot in the audio, video, content quality and everything. That's because I have a subscription of a variety of people who talks about the tech, who talks about the programming, who talks about uh, even the camera gears, audio, video and a whole bunch of other things. People usually don't say that out loud, but we all know that some or how somehow or the other you're watching all those channels. So I openly ad admit that. Now, I can surely make a separate video on the YouTubers that I personally love and I watch them a lot. Uh, I have seen, I have mentioned that quite a lot in my channel that I watch a lot of videos of Peter McKinnon. The amount of work he put out on his video is inspirational. I learned a lot from it. Another tech channel that I watch uh, frequently is Front Page Tech, Fepete. Uh, if you're just going on there, just uh, pay, post down in the comment section, Hitesh hey, sent us here. Front Page Tech is a tech news kind of a channel which is so bad that it's so good and the host is doing an absolute amazing job there so funny so funny to watch uh, probably in some other videos I'll mention the other YouTube channels that I watch but yes I do that but I never watch that during the night time I watch all of my subscription and everything in the daytime so that I'm absolutely aware of the decisions that I'm making no YouTube during the night time now let's talk about the diet phase as well and I do take care of my diet, not like into the extreme manner, but a little bit on that. I always prefer vegetarian food and for the alcohol it's always no, no, no. No matter if I'm in India or outside, it's always a strict no for alcohol. And I love vegetarian diet because to be honest, I just love the food, how vegetarian diet is. And if you're saying, hey, you have never tried the non-vegetarian food, how can you be say so? No, it's not like that. It's not like that. I would say to prove my point here, I've spent more than 30 days in China and the amount of extreme food that I've seen there, you haven't even seen that on the YouTube channels. The frying of the live scorpions to the snake to anything at all in China, it's, it's a survival there. So I don't have any problem with the non-vegetarian food, it's just I love vegetarian food and no offense for the non-vegetarians here. And one of the tips that I can give you, which I also follow for the diet is it's not about leaving all of your pizzas and burger because obviously we are hitting the gym, we are doing exercise so that we can enjoy some of the food with the friends. I'm not saying that consume pizza regularly like every next day, but let's just say once in a month you are sitting around with your friend and you all have ordered pizzas or burgers. Just enjoy that with your friend. That's the whole point of living a happy life. And uh, apart from that, I don't consume them like regularly very often. I'm a moreover kind of a person who instead of hitting the McDonald's would love to visit a nearby shop of fruits. And I love fruits and I do consume them a lot. I'm also not a very heavy eater. Uh, sometimes when I'm outside of India, I just take a cheese sandwich and an iced tea and that's it. I'm done for the dinner. Sometimes people get really surprised at how low amount of food that I eat. But actually that is more than enough for my body. My metabolism is absolutely amazing. I don't need much amount of food. Whatever I intake, it's actually good for my body and I just am happy with it. Talking about my sleep cycle. Now that is a little bit crazy thing which I still have to work out. I am no good in my sleep cycle. You might have seen a lot of people saying, hey, get up in the four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning. No, it doesn't work out for me. I've tried that for a month or two months, uh, getting up five o'clock every single day for like 60 days continuously. I tried that, it doesn't work out for me. My sleep cycle is still bad. I openly admit that. I am working out to fix that uh, because sometimes I get up like in the morning, nine o'clock or 10 o'clock. I go to bed sometimes at five o'clock or six o'clock in the morning. So yeah, sleep-wise, I'm not doing really great. Sometimes I sleep like four hours, five hours. 
But yeah, I'm working out to fix on that. Uh, as soon as I do that, I'll surely share that update in the videos. Currently, the sleeping cycle is absolutely horrible. Now, I know this video is absolutely long, but here are my three tips that I would like to give you uh, that is going to absolutely help you. Now, tip number zero. Hey, we are programmers. What do you think? We're going to start with one? No, we're going to start with zero. The tip number zero is exercise at least two or three times in a week. No skip for that. Even just if it is running, just make sure you do that. Otherwise, you're going to be in a, such a miserable position. You're going to regret that. So don't regret that do your exercise. Tip number two and the most important one is no laptop in the bed and possibly if possible no laptop and no mobile on the bed as well. This is going to be very challenging but if you are able to make that up it's going to be absolutely good for you. Tip number three and the most important is don't pretend to work. If you're working, that's great. But if you're not working on your laptop or mobile phone, don't pretend that you're working. This is going to give more insight to your brain that, hey, I have binge watched enough of the YouTube. Now I should be getting to work. So be absolutely honest with yourself and don't pretend that you are working. And last but not the least, take care of your food as well. I'm not saying that you should get away from the pizza or the burger, but make sure that if you're hungry, you don't always go into McDonald's or Burger King. Just make sure you hit any of the local food, food stalls for apple, maybe some local fruits. That is going to be absolutely good. And this small thing can actually change a lot. Over the years, this habit of consuming food, uh, the fruit, whenever you are hungry, has actually changed quite a lot in me. And I think if you're going to adopt this habit, you're going to love that too. So that's it. It's a pretty long video. <laughs> I do agree on that. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are interested in programming and anything that is related to tech and programming that we discuss on this channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button as well. And let's catch up in the next video.